today's adventure brings us to the Coca-Cola Space Science Center in Columbus, Georgia. I'm going to take you around and show you the shuttle launch experience and I'm going to show you how to land a space shuttle. This is waste in space, eating and drinking in space. I was told they even have a Coke machine that they drink Coke out of. I saw that very one over at the Coke Museum in Atlanta a few years ago when I went. This is the Coke machine they took to the International Space Station, or at least one of them. As you can see, they can fill a pressurized bottle. And right over here, these are the foods they eat in a vacuum. This is called the This is called the shuttle emergency egress system. They get in these little baskets and they they go all the way down if there's an emergency on the space shuttle when they're trying to launch. This video will show you how they come down and they stop suddenly with a brake system. Then they get off on those little, what looks like treadmills and walk to safety. They've done it a couple of times. I remember a couple of times during certain missions they've done it before. And it looks like a lot of fun. Whoa, here we go. takes you all the way down then you stop suddenly and then you get out to safety and then someone's there to pick you up and then this is what it this is the egress cart they have here number four And if you look inside, they would sit down in the middle of the, of the cart. This is a launch pad camera that would be out there and film certain launches. This is a biomedical console. Over here they're giving a description as to how it works. They have folks sitting there talking to the astronauts. This is the biomedical console. We're at the Space Shuttle Odyssey right now and we're about to take a launch on the Space Shuttle. And I love that astronaut right there. He is super cool. There's Space Shuttle Odyssey. We're about to get on it and launch. We're going to go take our seats in just a second. These are the flight simulators where you can fly on a fighter jet, and I'm going to take you for a ride. Okay, it says press start, so let's press start.
interesting. The next thing we're going to do is the space shuttle experience. Lord help me. This is the is that mine down there? other view of the Look, is that place. Mine? This is the control modules. What they're going to do is send to Mars. Or they already have sent it to Mars. Let's see if we can back this thing up. Well, let's go over here. It was already going, and I hear the space shuttle lifting off. Rover 2. And I'm making it run using these levers. Oop. I think I'm stuck in the face on Mars that took an about face. Uh oh. I think that's what we have going on there. Let's see what the blue one over there does. Above that, they have a video playing of them sending rovers to Mars, talking about Mars, the Mars Pathfinder, everything about Mars, interactive videos. Landing on Mars. There's the rover. Over there they have a, a green screen. The Columbus connection to the moon landings. If you can see. Apollo 15. Star charts. on the stars. Michigan has been on the moon also. These are the astronaut gloves. They have several layers if, as you can see. These are the EVA gloves. They wear on the outside, working outside. These are some more EVA gloves. They use those when they're working on the ISS. As you can see up there, he's got some of the same gloves on. There's the other side of the glove. They just snap on with a pressurized hose. And there's the other side of that glove. There's some watches and some memorabilia. Clean room suits. I was actually at the 25th uh, anniversary of the moon landing at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Boy, if I'd thought to film it, because Neil Armstrong and everyone was there. And there's some more memorabilia. There's a watch. And I'll show you a close-up of these green room, these clean room suits right here. There's the shoes, there's the hats. Man on the moon. Okay, four minutes to launch everyone, four minutes. We're on the Space Shuttle Odyssey. I'll reroute control to your armrest. On the count of three, I need you all to push the green button when it's on. Ready? Three, two, one. Push the green button. Great job. Now, hang on tight. We're going to be coming in pretty fast, so it may get a little bumpy. Houston, initiate. 
communicating to your firm. Copy that. to board the space shuttle. There's some very blue lighting in here. And that's the top of the craft. And that's all the way back to the flag, to the cargo bay areas. And I'll scroll back, there's the cockpit. And here's the screens that we watch. And here's the seats we're sitting in. And we're about to get started. We're still waiting on shuttle launch. Okay, here we go, y'all. We were down there. Yeah, we were. Cape Canaveral. Yeah, look at that. Spatial Odyssey here at Columbus State University's Coca-Cola Space Science Center. I'm Dr. Sean Cruzen and I'm the Executive Director of the Space Science Center. You know, astronauts train for years in order to get a chance to go into outer space. And now it's your turn to get a feel for what that's like. You are sitting in a multi-seat module inside the payload bay of a modified Odyssey class space shuttle. Your mission will be to blast off into space and dock with the International Space Station. Some of you will be continuing on to Mars, which is very exciting. Others will get a chance to catch a ride to the moon. The rest of you will be staying on station to perform some very important experiments in microgravity. Your mission commander, David Lawrence, is in the cockpit and ready to go. Commander Lawrence, your new recruits are ready. Thank you, Dr. Cruzen. All systems are go. Oh, I almost forgot. Certain system controls can be routed to your armrest buttons if needed. Commander Lawrence may need you to push one of those buttons, so be sure and pay attention in case anything goes wrong. But I'm sure nothing will go wrong. So this is where I leave you. Have a great trip. Commander Lawrence, they're all yours. Thanks again, Dr. Cruzen. Hello, crew, and welcome aboard. My name is David Lawrence, and with me up here on the flight deck is pilot Scott Norman, Chris Johnson, and Lance Tankersley. We're all excited to have you aboard and looking forward to a great flight. 
The external tank, which is the large orange fuel tank that we're currently attached to, has been filled to its flight load of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellants. Also, oh. <coughs> two white solid Excuse rocket me. boosters, or SRBs, have been armed. This is where we'll get most of our power. And when they light, we are going somewhere because there's no turning them off. Before we get started, we need you to activate your vitals transmission by pushing the red, green, and blue buttons so we can monitor your temperature, respiration, and heart rate. I'll activate them now. Go ahead and push all three buttons. Looking good. Space Shuttle Odyssey, this is Mission Control Houston here. Are you ready for T-minus 10 second countdown? Houston, this is Space Shuttle Odyssey here. My crew and I are ready. Okay, Odyssey. Sound suppression watering system activated. See all that water? It comes from that water tower and acts as a sound suppression system so the shuttle and launch pad don't get damaged by the sound energy reflecting off of the launch pad. Okay, crew, here we go. Hold on. Eight. Go for main engine start. Five. Four. There goes the SRBs. Here we go. Maneuvering to ISS. Houston, 
Houston, ISS coming into view. Copy. Hey there, Odyssey. This is Sally from the ISS. We can see you coming in and you're looking good. Right on track. Hey, Sally. Great to hear. I've got a great crew here and we're looking forward to coming aboard. Houston, ISS, stand by for contact. Looking good, Odyssey. You're right on track. Six inches, three, two, one. Houston and ISS, contact. Capture confirmed. Copy that. Great job, Odyssey. Copy that. Great job, David. And to you and your crew, welcome to the ISS. Thanks, Sally. Glad to be back. Crew, welcome to the ISS. Traveling at 17,100 miles per hour at an altitude of 249 miles. For those of you going on to Mars or the Moon, have a safe flight. Yeah. 
Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Push the red button. Great job, crew. Just in time. Brace for touchdown. Houston, Space Shuttle Odyssey touchdown. Roger that, Odyssey. And welcome home. Thanks, Houston. And thanks to my crew. Great job, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. See, I told you nothing would go wrong, but that was a close call. You know, astronauts go through years of training and simulators to deal with all kinds of emergencies. This way, they're prepared when something goes wrong. Well, I hope you enjoy your experience and enjoy the rest of your stay here at Columbus State University's Coca-Cola Space Science Center. helmet and an astronaut air backpack along with an astronaut suit brought across from the space shuttle and the astronaut and that was fun. There's the solid rocket booster from the space shuttle. This painting is called Cape Winds and it's signed by the astronauts who went up in Atlantis. See way over there, there's another shuttle on another launch pad. Sometimes I'd have two of them go up at once. Space shuttle main engine nozzle. And I'll go around and show you the inside of it. This is what they call a NASA, the business end of the space shuttle with this enormous rocket booster. There's the other side of it. Orbiter nose gear tire. They always use Michelin. That's a space shuttle computer. This is a vacuum toilet. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.